this hey or damn it hey can like i give a f about numbers i just dropped two weeks ago this go finna drop stop it i know i ain't fine i ain't worried about no numbers that play bang ticket bang you stupid drunk face that's all you like to do is to get drunk and talk <laughs> that was gonna get you fucked up Oh, the Young boy had more to say. He took to Twitter. He's got a burner account. He asked Dirk, you ever realize you only get a buzz when one of your friends pass away? Think about it, you scary bum. You know I ain't lying. Hashtag fact. Well, Dirk saw that he was trending because young boy talking about him. He said, I'm trending every day. I ain't see nothing. Young boy also had to smoke for academics. And academics, your mouth gonna be the reason you invalid from now on. Academics responded to young boy by saying, I never thought I'd see the day my homie dissed me cause it sells low. The rap game is the devil. Young boy, I forgive you, man. We could get themselves up otherwise, LOL, but Capital Records, I blame you for this. Y'all pressuring YB to get some sales and he doing anything. Get my boy off house arrest. YB the last rapper I thought would ever do some ish like this for sales, but dang. Go buy his album. It drops Friday. He's trying to outsell Lil Dirk. I still love him, though. Buy his project. Young boy's response is, you steady talking about sales. I'm paid and you can't manipulate me, clown. You embarrassing yourself. I can't be messed with. That's why I'm dropping. Because y'all know that I'm better. Rich's Op is the name of NBA Young Boy's project that we finally got officially. He will be competing with Dirk, who's got a new project coming out this Friday as well. Almost Hill. This is a catch-22. I'm excited as a fan of music. Let me be clear about that. I told this story on the platform yesterday. I'm going to say it again. When I was coming up, it was fun when guys like Kanye West and 50 Cent competed for the top spot. Y'all remember that moment, right? Hell, BT 106 in Park did a whole week of promo as these dudes were competing for the number one album they were performing. I remember Ye brought out Jay-Z on one of the day to do to my bigs, brother, is bigs, brother. That used to be fun in the culture. And I saw somebody drop a comment in my last video, and I want to address this. I don't do this often, but I do want to address this. I saw somebody drop a comment in one of my last videos, and he said, you know, you ain't making it no better between Young Boy and Dirk. Well, first off, I'm speaking for myself. I don't represent academics or whomever. Academics has chosen his path of, of making himself about every story. That's not what I like to do. I'm just a guy that covers music. I tell the story and try to get the hell out of the way. As a guy covering music, you're telling me now I can't be excited about two musicians competing for the number one album. That's the sport of what that's that's everybody knows no, the first week sales are the most important. Right, you telling me I can't be excited about two artists competing for the number one spot? Oh, you don't want me to be excited about these two artists competing because they got real stuff that allegedly has happened between them in the past. I had nothing to do with that. So really, you're mad at the state of music right now that dudes are really living out their raps, allegedly, and things are happening behind the scenes, allegedly. That has nothing to do with my job. I mean, these are two of the most influential rappers out there right now. There have been more kids to do violent things behind these two dudes than anybody. But yet the media is getting blamed. If you're going to involve yourself in every story like an academic decides to do, I get it. I get it. He, he takes it too far to me. I do get, understand that. But the, you're, I'm just asking the question. Should the media not be excited about two phenomenally talented rappers with huge fan bases going at it for the top spot. We had one of these in a little minute. The only reason why people don't want us to be excited because of these gentlemen's history. I mean, y'all let me know. I'm just, I'm asking questions out there in the comment section and I would love to hear you guys' feedback. This is a big deal. You, we don't really get these battles. Normally guys try to plan their albums away from other guys' albums. You, the, the thought process is, you know, if you're going to go stream Dirk's album, you don't, you're not going to spend the, the requisite amount of time to stream Young Boy's album or vice versa. But Young Boy is, is clearly positioning himself 
to drop with Dirk. He just dropped the project a couple weeks ago. He's doing this for a reason. He's trying to take away from Dirk's momentum. And I'm assuming to have that number one spot, at least on the rap charts, probably this will be a battle between the number one chart overall. These will probably be number one, number two next week. My prediction in my last video was, I think I said 115 for Dirk, 75 for, for Young Boy. I think those were my predictions for both of their first week numbers. I'm excited as a fan. Again, I had nothing to do with the real stuff that apparently has happened between these two talented MCs. As a fan of music, though, I thought that's what we used to do. We used to, for the sport, the love of it, we used to get excited about whose projects better. Fans all over the world are going to stream their favorite rappers. Young boys clearly on IG Live for a reason. He's getting his base fired up to try to be number one. I think it's dope. Dirk's got a single coming with one of the biggest rappers ever and J. Cole coming this Friday. This is that that's exciting to me. All the other stuff, I ain't supporting, I ain't behind that. I'm just here for the music and the sport of it. Y'all let me know what y'all think though. Should the media be excited about two artists that are dropping with said history that they maybe or maybe did not have between them? Let me know. Comment section below. Talk to your boy. Time loving support is what your boy will never take for granted. I'm out.